My name is Rhapsody, welcome back. Let's lay this my downfall, let's go with the snacker. Oh, come on, okay. It's fixed off to the side there, there we go. Hmm, enemies in next two combats flee in terror. I can get an elite with that. There's a path here on the first floor that gets two rests, three elites, one of them the emerald elite, as well as no shops. Still looks like the best path we can take. It's entirely possible... Oh, God, it did it again. It's entirely possible that it doesn't happen to get our elite here. Like, this question mark could be a fight. I'm hoping here that it is not. Uh, it's neck bites and model 2. No, I'm just going to upgrade the unknown. Because we're definitely going to leave that in the deck, whereas all of the other ones are kind of up in the air as whether or not they'll stay. A random soul roll. Take a common attack card. Ooh, okay. As much as I like the sharpened fragment, we can try and do the broken wing statue thing here again. Be very happy if we manage to get that off. Okay, there's a rotation snake rake and dice block. I'm just going to take a rotation just for some cycle through the deck. Upgrade the rotation so that it's even more cycle. In the worst case, it replaces itself plus one. Okay, so the deck here has a single unlimited power as well as a torch fire, as well as the single upgraded rotation. Yeah, this is like basically a base deck fighting, well, health upgraded sentries. So we're probably going to end up using the dex potion here. And by probably, I mean definitely. Alright. Force Ignite all the Ghost Flames in order. Okay, we got some extra block out of it. An extra point of strength. Got some damage out too. sooner we get one target down, the sooner we are far safer. Unfortunately, really was relying on drawing that defend next turn. That's the reason I checked the draw pile during combat, something that I am clearly not off to do. <laughs> I love that chain of comments that just points out when I looked at the draw pile for the first time each combat. I've been looking at my draw pile a little more commonly as a direct result of it, I want you to know. Uh, okay. Rotation's great here. 15, 11. Fine. I'm just going to take my kill and then wait. Very, very slowly work our way through this century. Play both of those just for the sake of the ink bottle. A for the draw pile. I still only click on it. That's what I need to do. If I work it into my uh, my memory of the key bindings, it's over for you enemies. Gemstone gun. Maybe I want to take that after I look at this. Make sound versus cheap stock versus unknown skill card. Um, I'll take the snake sap. Ooh. Always having the choice of when you pump an extra energy is pretty good. Oh, wow. Do it two times over. Hmm. I'm going to put vulnerability in it. So the idea is that on a certain turn, we just have the ability to make everyone very, very sad. Uh, let's take the Sapphire Key here as well. There's nothing I necessarily want to put in my opening hand repeatedly here. I also have the opportunity here to break both of these as well as get the recall. Definitely breaking the emeralds. I don't think the 10 max HP really has an impact on us right now. Snake sap upgrade to increased range. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm not even going to recall, apparently. 
Upgrade three random cards. Mm, snack bite and strike strike. I mean, that is a significant increase in the amount of damage that I get to put out right now, right? So it's it's not bad. It's just not maybe everything I would have wanted. I should really seek to wake the enemy up this turn. I'm just looking at this hand and the value is astounding. Okay. Get one extra turn of weakness out of that. Visage, defend, rotation for more defense. Found it. Unfortunately, with some company. Same deal again. Oh, I love that that got rid of a regret for us. Snake quite hoping for a zero cost. We didn't get one. That's okay, though. Yeah, five soul burn. Okay, cool. I was wondering if it wasn't applying the soul burn for some reason. It's, seems to be doing fine. 15 goes through this turn. How much damage can I deal? Uh, really dependent on that rotation, right? Eight. Come on. Got him. Whew. Good kill right there. We leave the ink bottle on a high total. I'm going to take a note just for denying the one card that ends up being bad. Sure. More than happy to take another battle here. Ooh, this is actually really good. Let's use the gemstone gun to start with. Throw out a strike into snack bite. Rotation to get as many other cards as possible. I'm gonna nope defend because I don't want defenses. I want aggression. Attack two times and then restock. Yeah, and then just straight up kill the enemy. Love it. Vajra, yeah, just one extra point of strength for having done so. Soul draw. He's just. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of glue pieces right now, right? Rotations, draw, this is get something bad out of the deck. This is, you know, fix your energy on a certain turn. Uh, soul draw is obviously draw, you know, it's more deck fixing effectively. So I'm doing a lot of things, but I don't know what the deck does yet. Because those things don't count as what it do. Uh, just looking in there to make sure there's nothing that I would want to pull out. Two more cards, ideally, before the end of the fight. So we go rotation, and then snack bite for the kill. Ooh, I'm gonna go for an unknown weak card. Still not having a reliable source of that in the deck. We finally actually get an enemy here. Great, so I'm gonna have the ability to remove the uh, regret from the deck, finally. Ooh, we got vulnerability for a bunch of turns. That's pretty good. Could be a lot worse. Unfortunately, the enemy isn't weak on this one, though. Shame to have to rotate past that. Ooh. Good rest of the turn, though. Right, the regret's probably getting out of the deck here as well, unless we find something way more appealing in the shop. That's a bit difficult to do. Been getting very lucky rolls here. Uh, soul draw. No, even if I soul draw, I don't rotate into anything I want. Let's rotate first. Ooh, heal hook, some free damage. A rotation as well for some free draw. Two more strikes. And that's not bad. That's almost half of his HP away. The only damage I took there was to my own regret. Oh, chemical X and start taking the ones that give us X costs. Removes my ability to remove something here, though. Upgrade two random skills in your deck. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to do that at all times as well. I just really don't want to carry a regret. Hmm. How long would I be carrying it for? Probably about a floor. A whole floor. Yeah, I don't want that. Get out of here. Let's take a vulnerable card as well as a one cost card, just giving ourselves a couple more outs in the deck. A couple more chances to generate outs, rather. Okay. 
So we have to have a look at the draw pile just in case there's something in there that... Ooh, another one cost? Yeah, I'll take another. Uh, no, another vulnerability. I guarantee that one's set up. Just to see if there's anything that would give it a permanent... Uh, give us, rather, a permanent benefit that I would prefer to keep in there instead. I'm going to play the top three cards of the draw pile. Not bad draw, and we did get to the Volcano Visage, which was where we wanted to get. Take a couple of these enemies down. Never mind, we got the dagger spray in the snack bite for the kill. Strength. Percent. I am kind of just covering all of my bases in terms of the cards that we're getting in this deck. Is that a bad way to be handling this or a fine? I think it's fine. I mean, I also use a rotation just for the draw here, even if I don't want it. Uh, it's point of strength of two decks. I'm about to get an apotheosis cycling through this deck, so our defense is going to be really, really, really good. Which means my... Uh, it feels like my offense is going to be my worst part, so the, the Phantom Cloak doesn't feel viable, but at the same rate... Like, surely I want it. Overdefend. Kind of generally work our way through the deck. Use Nope once, I guess, to get a new card in here. Terra sets up vulnerability forever. The Crippling Cloud goes through. We have a single judgment. We are just really low on damage if I do it this way is the thing. I still think overall it's safer. Should have struck first. Pothios. Get out all the right cards on that turn. Okay, he's got their cloak and dagger. Uh, let's start finding. What's the worst card in the deck? What's the card that I ultimately? Uh, I mean, it's that tongue lash, right? That's the card I want to hit the nope on. Oh, maybe it's judgment. Like that. That's nothing until it kills. And then we're already within two cards of killing the enemy by the time that happens. Sure, let's change judgment. Follow your hand. Cast model this way. Can't cost three. Oops. Hmm. Tail whip's really bad, though. Okay. We get to nope the tongue lash. Wide Sting? I mean, that's some damage. Mm-hmm. Ouch. All of that hurt a lot. He is hoping that we uh, can find enough damage here. Gosh, we removed the judgment, and doesn't that feel bad right now? Doesn't that just feel awful? Enemy's only blocking for the five this turn. We're fine. Whew. All right. That could have been pretty bad. There's an exotic form and a model shield, as well as a soul exchange. Draw one card, then exhaust one card. Exhaust your hand, replacing them with random cards of the exhausted cards class. I don't... Like, I haven't used Soul Exchange much at all, but part of that's because I don't believe it to be particularly powerful. Hmm. Exotic Form is just a lot of draw power, and a lot of draw power is always pretty good. I'm gonna take it. Mm. Lower the cost of a thing each turn? Sure. The idle retromation there as well. Ooh, that left path over there has two elites, three midline rests, and early shop as well. But yeah, the only three elite paths are really, really lacking in other value. 
I don't want an early shop though. Ideally, I want a late shop. So instead, I'm going to go for one less midline rest, but I get more question marks and I get a later shop by taking this path. Okay. There are infinitely many things here that I want to smith, but the exotic form needs to be castable pretty much every single time I draw it. The roll attack does nothing right now, right? Can't hit everyone. Seeing red. Sure, I'm just going to get rid of it. It'd be a great card to play after exotic form, but I cannot wait that long. Okay. Snake sap. Ooh, tail whip and strike just put that target in the ground. If I make everyone weak and vulnerable, I take no damage. Two cards cast until the draw from the ink bottle. Ooh, love an exotic form that's decreased in cost for us. I'm going to nope you on mine looking for... How does nope work? I seem to always have it wrong. He's also got in hand a random card of the same type that costs one less. So it's the same type as in skill, not from the same class. I don't know how I kept getting that wrong for as long as I've been getting it wrong, but here's hoping this marks the end. Uh, I can prop another guard. Wow. I really can barely fight. Uh, never mind. Everything came together at the very end there. Alright. You can take the dex card rather than an upgraded card there. There's a path with no rests, but a bunch of shops, if I'd prefer that. I actually do prefer that. Ocean belt, gain a random uh, relic, cause scan sure. Let's get rid of the pain in just a couple spaces of time. Don't love the mango here, but eh, don't hate it either. I have to have this pain in hand. Let's soul draw first. Ha! <laughs> nice! Alright, let's nope that pain. It's fine. Could be uh, a lot worse. I'm going to replicate the gemstone gun here. Okay. Let's use the first one, then disarm, then use the second one, making sure we actually get vulnerability through. Can searing blow and then rotate this hand. Okay, we're a bit short on damage. Hopefully the deck has the ability to provide that. That quick slash is nice. Use exotic form so that Sucker Punch draws a card. Snake Sap always gives us an energy back so we get the kill. Great. Upgraded two cost. I like it. Upgraded weak was just a little behind that because I already have the weak in the deck. There's another pain. And here we go. Draw the uh, nope again. Dang. The gemstone gun, then thunderclap. Hit a tail whip, a strike, and I take the soul draw back here with a meditate. Do I need to be in calm for any reason? No, we have no benefit from being in calm. Sure, I'm gonna leave that. Hmm. So I have a card that generates stasis or uses stasis slots. If I play this, I guarantee that it'll have no effect though. So I just, I can't risk it. Exotic form and then I'm going to kill that card. Found another exotic form. Can't use it though. The exotic form is just to set up for the next couple turns so that it can try and deal as much damage as possible here. It's, I guess it's possible that we kill. Probably quite unlikely, but possible, I guess. Okay. 
Huh, <laughs> nice. Makes it very easy to get away from those. Okay, so yeah, the, the turret beam goes up there. Now, if I was to try and class the slow, a uh, uh, grow rather, I'd, I'd lose the, the slot and I would actually get the effect. It seems if your first thing to try and do is to try and consume the slot, it won't give it to you. You have to generate the slot and then lose it, regardless of what cards you have in deck. Or at least that's the assumption I'm working off at the moment. I'm going to model them again. Oh, wow. I was not expecting it to actually give me both of them. Like I dared to dream, of course. But not to believe. I mean, I want so many of these things, but more than I want any of them, I don't want the pain. See, now I already have an orb slot. Literally, it's just the first time I played it. Also, rude. Why did this? I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I wanted to finally carry it to the event so I could actually get these. Bleh. Well, at least it simplifies this fight, I guess. It feels like that's always a bad option because there's just always an enemy that takes it away from you and then you don't get the value out of it. Take the Vuln there. Loaded die, cards that choose random numbers have plus one to their minimum. That is great. That's actually probably going to affect a couple of my choices. Upgraded tackle to cost zero this turn. Love the idea of it. Let's do it. Finishing tackle. No, wait. None of them have coupon. Unfortunate. And keep the vulnerability on the frontliner and then just take a damage against the backliner. Nice. So that's 14 damage through to us this turn. Pretty. Oh, God. I was about to say, I'm pretty likely to pay the ancient power and the result from it, but can't do that right now. Darkling Trio. I mean, I only have one orb slot, but I'll gain some strength at the absolute least. I do know when you absorb a slime, you gain strength as well, by the way. I know you heal back up the amount that you took to split to them. I, I feel like I've demonstrated that a couple times over the series, but there are a fair few comments that seem to believe that I do not know that. I, I know it. Just don't utilize it hugely often. Right. Take our kill. Leave on the perfect amount as well. Ooh, restock. I mean, look, if draw's the most important thing to me, why wouldn't restock be? Yeah. Let's fight the arena champions. Captive Hero is probably a bit harder for us, and I haven't seen a differential in the uh, the value results there. Hmm. Soul draw first. Wow. That's not what I thought I was going to get. Okay, double draw. Pile on. I have nothing that attacks with that. Um. I don't want to restock right now. Let's nope a strike for a better attack, hopefully. Mm, I'm fine. Not bad. Fine. I'm just going to murder the frontliner. One turn of vulnerability for the gremlin knob to already have set up. Sure, I think the energy is worth more to us. Yeah, they get four more damage on this turn. Um, oh, wow. Grow, sap, fasting, and then immolate 100% there. We should just be able to kill next turn pretty comfortably with basically any draw. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, I'll be taking all my relics. Turn up, you can only come frail, as well as all of our uh, skills are going to be upgraded from this point on. Sorrel's not that bad if we're taking a lot of draw and all of our skills are upgraded.
He does feel like, as this character, I just have to take every card. Like, every time a card is offered to me, it's pretty much right for me to take one of them. This how it feels. Uh, I mean, the Heat Shield is you know, 11 block for us right now. Is there anything else I can do here for value? I'm going to get rid of the Tail Whip, if nothing else. Ooh, Snake Rake our way into a collect that we get to play? Nice. Really would have preferred to probably have that next turn, but okay. Uh, command twice. It's not relevant to us. I'm going to clone the Snake Sap. Seems the most likely to be useful on a future turn. Okay. Soul roll. Nice. Some zero costs. Gonna make our draw a lot easier here. Get some extra energy back as well. Snack bite hoping to lower the costs of the defense. That was uh, the opposite direction to lowering their cost right there. But it's fine. We get the kill. Holy smooth stone for another point of dex. And I'm going to take another vulnerability card. I mean, we start each battle now with two decks. We're about to start each battle with two strength as well. That is nothing to turn your nose up at. That is giant. In fact, we're also very, very likely about to get the kill on this target. Uh, I should probably just shockwave. Let's restock for as many cards as I can get. Hmm. Snackbite might give me the kill. It didn't have to. I just said might. Although it does look like we don't have much more damage left in the deck, so I really hope we find a fence. Uh, come on. More defense than that, please. Uh, enemy's already weakened, so it's not really going to provide the best avenue for it. Uh, sure, I get to play some more cards there. Yikes. Take six damage. None of them were ethereal. They'll just do the one damage to you. A face slap, removing all your block, and then get the kill. Sleeved Ace. At the start of each combat, add a cheat into your hand with Retain. Unfortunately, this doesn't show me what the cheat is. I'm pretty sure cheat is uh, this turn, all cards that have a random generation uh, generate the maximum effect they possibly can. Uh, the the Pantograph is huge here as well, though. I'm taking Pantograph and the Sleeved Ace. Ghost Guard is great. Snake Sap is really good here as well. Take Snake Sap and take Shift. Try and give us the ability to change our build mid-fight a lot more commonly. Yeah, they choose their maximum number. So that's going to be really good for the soul roll and the, the restock this turn. In fact, I'm going to use the cheat. Ooh, Snake Sap also is just, like, great with this. Spray. Yeah, that's not great. Right, some extra attacks and then restock for a full hand. Hmm. A lot of the cards here aren't great. You could just shift, I think. Yeah, one focus, one deck. Oh, sorry, one strength, one dex, and then shift. Revenge protocol. Nice. So we'll have some strength next turn. That exotic form's pretty good. A sampling leak before I play the soul roll, before I play the exotic form. I really wish I had one more energy right now just for the uh, snake sap. Having cheat and two snake saps in the deck? Oh, it's, it's something. It's something to behold. Quick move. That's just a good block that has a, uh, a model effect on it. I think we need some more defensive glue. I think our HP 
attests to that pretty uh, pretty effectively. Cheat our way in. Oh my god, snakes up. Let's restock a whole new hand, then we're just looking to try and, uh, try and kill the frontliner. It should have been the frontliner, but I think I messed up. So I'm gonna have to strike this target. Rotate all these cards. Maybe I should have just shifted there. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Another rotation seems great here. Okay. I think I'm just going to go again. While restock is in my opening hand, it makes it very easy to continue doing this whole cheat build. I will use a single defend here, though, because I am worried that I just don't get enough defense here and then don't realize it and have a really bad time. Okay, let's start out with a quick roll. Really unfortunate cost change on that exotic form. I probably don't need the exotic form, but it would be nice to have it. Let's get an inflame out there. And then that turn. No weakness. Weakness. Sorry, weakness laid on my character. Um, there we go. Whew. I was worried the Malleable would actually get them back up to a reasonable value there. That Rain of Dice, deal two to four, so three to four, to a random enemy three to four times, model the next three to four cards you draw. It's okay with Loaded Die and the fact that we start each fight with two extra strength. What's it bad with? Pretty much everything else. It's like an unknown upgraded block. Mmm. Again, we get restock in the opening hand, so I have... Wait. Restock and soul draw, mind. Do we have any upgrades in the deck? We've got Zerk in there, Prismatic Beam. Ugh. Um, double rotation, single fasting. I'm going to end up using that fasting. Okay, so... Let's go for this one first. Foresight? Which there's a lot of things that it's hard not to just play right now. So I think more of this would be zero cost, but I'll accept. Whoop. Exotic form out on turn one is more than enough for me. Searing strike out there, and then am I really going to restock right now? Literally just looking for Berserk this turn? I think so, actually. Wow, our off-class cards in this hand are actually really garbage. It can rotate, but what through until? End my turn. There's our fasting. Snake sap as well. Start out with the fasting and Guardian Whirl. No Powder Prismatic Beam because that's not useful for us. Snake Rake our way through to this. Hit a sap for some extra energy. Happy to have it. Uh, just rotate for defensive draw, I guess. Shift for nothing. Another snake sap. Okay, that one actually got a good roll as well. Let's a quick move for some defense. The income damage is 12, 32. Let's walk for 25. Weaken the enemy, ideally. Uh, unfortunately, we just made him stronger. But we also found more block ourselves, so... Who's to say that was wrong, other than me saying it right now? It was definitely wrong. Hell of a lot more damage than we thought. Feels like we can eke out a lot more damage in this deck than we ever really think we can. 
Like, every single time I think the turn is over, I just generate 50 more damage from somewhere. And I'm not even necessarily certain where it comes from. Take the upgraded colorless, almost certain to be a, uh, a boss guard for us. I mean, more energy is just more cards played. You should have it doesn't feel bad right now. A lot of the cards are coming into the deck upgraded. The cards that are already in the deck are like in uh, unreliable rather to upgrade. Sure, let's take the fusion hammer. Also, I have more stuff I have to do at campfires on this floor, right? I still have to get the recall, then I have to break it. That's it. Uh, breaking is a free action as well, only cost 75. So it's not like it's a huge amount of things that I have to do. There's some. Okay, three elites, two elites, one elite. There's a lot of fathers that only have one elite. That I, I feel too powerful to go for only one elite. I'm going here. I'm going to break this and recall. Just get a set out on a nice path. Literally, I just have to hit another rest. And that final rest is going to be the one down here. Break a key and then I can sleep immediately after. Don't matter. I can do it. Whoa, what a great opening hand. Okay, exotic form into gemstone gun into cheat. We use sap first. Okay. Let's use deck as protection for two card draw, then a ancient power for another two card draw. So roll our way through some of these costs. It's a decent conclude. Uh, don't want to run this defend out first. Sure. Good opening turn. Set up a lot of buffs for ourselves. The rest of the fight ought to be quite simple. Ooh, there's the restock. Been a long time since I've seen a restock outside of the opening hand. Barely even remember what it looked like. Let's take our way through some of these. Uh... Nope, get some AoE damage out there, and then rotate our way through none of those either. Okay, so we literally just have the midline target. How many more cards can I cast? One, two, three, four, five, six, and turn. Set up for the ink bottle to get a draw at the very start of the next combat as well. Super simple to do there. Happily take another soul roll. Just making sure that I've got the right path. Making sure that I can break this gem. <laughs> so I guess we'll retract this turn. Uh, cheat. Retract. Gemstone. Into a soul draw. Snake bite. Moles too high. Scots, scots. Um, I was kind of expecting that to work out a lot better there. Oh, never mind. Soul draw. Keep going. Happy to rotate past all of those two. And there's a restock. Okay, we're good. Life is simple once more. We roll all of these cards in hand and then just kill target space off the ones we can. Snakes out for the extra energy. We rotate past these cards. Soul roll or shift or soul roll. See if any of these become possible. Ooh, Sanctity for a double card draw. Happy to do that. Um, last thing left in the deck is they sap. Uh, likelihood of drawing towards it reasonably eh, pretty low. Never mind. Ah, right, of course. Yeah, we already do have the, the off class the serpent mind up. Forgot about that for a second somehow. Try to tail whip while it's relatively cheap and then shift. I'm happy to shift this. Time warp. We don't really advance or retract, but happy to have it regardless. The restock is for after everything. Okay. Mm. Dang, don't want to play it at that cost, Sora. Don't want to play it at that cost either. All right, we'll rotation past those. Rewind again. Getting back to the time warp. I was wondering if we were actually going to be able to activate that. Uh, soul drop. Yeah, this... This is an infinish of some kind. It's, it's, it's infinity. Sure, good. That's gonna help. Uh, unknown skill. Sure, just pop that in here. It 
it's, 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 you know, in, it's infinite adjacent. Not wrong to call it an infinite. Ish. <laughs> uh, Alright, kill. Kill. Take the turret. No, the turret beam is actually going to damage me if it hits the front line the next turn. I've experienced that before and I do not appreciate it because it counts as an attack. Alright. Juggernaut into pretty much any defense that I can find, I think, is going to be the way for us here. That'll do. Mm. Taking the extra dex card. Just feels comfy to have. Another restock and another great opening hand for it. <laughs> great grow as well. Uh, I mean, we should face slap the enemy. Just seems right. Snake bite, try and get some more reasonable costs back into here. Another strike and then a goop that we will utilize next turn. We didn't get extra draw power there, unfortunately. So, I think we have to take advantage of every draw source we get offered. There we go. We follow that path and it totally works. We got to our uh, draw power. Ooh, is... Nothing else. Statistic nature was card draw for us. Okay, let's nope a goop spray. I don't think we need that one. All right, let's nope a tail whip. Yeah, we have another goop spray. Of course we didn't need the first one. Ooh, heavy blade. Not bad damage right now. How many more cards can we rotate past, though? Not that many. That's to say without losing it. Soul roll. Come on. Hey, bludgeon for the kill. Just keep going. We're never done casting. Shift again. Ooh, snake sap got another upgrade. That's actually a relevant upgrade left in the deck, so... Very happy to see that one there. Oh my god. Exotic form. Gemstone gun. Uh, cheat. So I can snake sap. As much as I want to keep the enemy weak and vulnerable, I really want to rotate past these cards. The more draw we get, the far better off we're going to be. Yeah, that soul roll is about to... Wait, no, it's not the soul roll I want. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to nope a defend then. Shift. Yikes. So we're all for the draw. Yikes. All right, we'll shift past these cards. Ooh, okay, four more cards. We can still get to, hopefully. Yeah, another full draw. Shift a couple of these cards. I'll roll a couple of them as well. All right, pre-programmed. There's the restock. That's literally the card that I need, right? Okay, thank you. It's just, it's just the next card I needed. Okay. Snake Sap so we can continue the combo. Ooh, Fasting's in the deck. Let's definitely make sure that we get to that. Um, I'll take the block for the next turn. Make sure the enemy is vulnerable. And then... Fasting. Do I shift now? I mean, the reinforced body is really good to leave, but pretty much all the rest of this I could get. I mean, the just lucky is even really good in the deck at the point. Yeah, screw it. I'm a shift. So shifting is actually really good here because all of the zero cost cards still just draw me another card. So it becomes really, really simple to just cycle through a lot of the deck. Even if I don't necessarily know what I'm accomplishing by doing that. As long as we have enough rolls, we'll uh, just keep being fine. Mm -hmm. Can't really play anything after that. That's fine. Play a snack bite. 
Just keep going. What are the odds that I end up killing the enemy here? Eh, pretty low. But this is going to be a good way to test the kind of like quote unquote infinite nature of this. All I have to do is keep casting. Okay, Shift past those two. And see if we actually have the ability ultimately to get anywhere with it. There's another stasis field for another draw. Keep them going. Okay, we're running out. And there we go. It's not an infinite. Infinish. Defend, defend, soul roll. Nice, and then rotation past those two cards. I didn't really leave much damage in the deck, is the thing that I'm realizing that maybe I should have done instead of what I did, which was leave no damage in the deck. Got a lot of shifts, though. Uh. Nothing in the hand could be soul rolled. You saw damage is starting to scale with the strength. I mean, like, I don't really want to replicate anything right now, but if I had a single powerful card in the deck, replication would be a great hit for it. Guess I'm about to burn it. Equilibrium of the tackle. I think we may end up just killing the enemy with all of the weak cards that we play. That's our game plan here, apparently. Okay. So shift those two. You just have so much draw that this is viable. Yeah, there we go. Turn three kill, a common gem. Uh, common gems a lot of the time are gonna be a bunch of draw for us because they're all gonna be off class cards. So yeah, I'll take an Aquamarine just by itself. Uh, defensive flare for each off-class card in your hand. I'll take it, but... Don't know how powerful it's really going to end up being for us. I'll take the Molten Egg 2. Retroactively feeling incredibly justified for a couple of the choices I made over the course of this run. Ooh, there's the restock. We found it. Uh... Reprogram a... What card do I not want in my next draw up there? It's Tail Whip. Okay. We set up a good Snake Sap. I don't want to Face Slap here because I do want to use the Dark Void. Okay. There goes out the Dark Void. Unfortunately... Looks like we're not really going to be able to draw another relevant thing. Come on! Just need the off-class card generator card. I forgot its name. Ooh, bandage up's not bad either. I'm going to nope a defend here. Look at cheap. I really wish that had retain right now. Okay, we found... Wait, okay, we found... We found it. Gosh. Just looking for any out that actually gets me the ability to try and get energy as well as... Draw. Now that that's back on the menu. This is a lot simpler. A strike and then a rotation. Pretty much any attack should kill the frontliner. Come on. That'll do it. Get the Oracalcum as well as Liquid Memories. Uh, I don't think I need Master Eye at this point. I think we generate enough of our own draw. Past like turn two, oftentimes turn one. Snake Sap doesn't seem super useful right now. That is the cheat either. All right, let's hold. It's a more impactful turn. Not really without any draw. 
Uh, but is it a turn that I can stop going off on? Nope. Oh, manipulate time. Why'd that have to happen there? Okay, blood for blood. Gets our kill. Take rotation getting past that dazed. Okay. Rainbow prostrate. Hyper beam. Sure, let's use hyper beam. Rainbow and then just soul roll to see if we want to... Okay, good. We can now use Hyper Beam and then restock. I literally just needed to have some guarantee that I would also be able to draw back into the deck. Try and find some defense for myself. There's Collector Cost Zero, and we are now comfy. I'm gonna take a mix it up. Just mix up all of these, deal 35 damage whilst? Sure. I mean, not just 35 damage, right? It carries strength as well, so. Carries, uh. It's. Uh, seven, nine, nine, nine per five is 54. 45, sorry. Uh, okay. Let's do this. I should ideally at this point basically be able to draw through the entire deck. <laughs> Love a good empower right there. I'm also now thinking exactly how do I get back the Hand of Greed in order to kill with it here. There's a few ways that come to mind. More damage. The few ways that came to mind are about to be removed by using this mix it up though. Yeah. Okay, so I guess at my point here is... And so I'll roll that. Collect... Like ancient power looking for some defense. That'll be fine, I guess. Just another soul roll. Shift. Um, just soul roll that out of the hand as well. All right. I'm setting myself up to have the most likelihood just to draw the hand of greed here. Be able to use that immediately as a kill and then just walk away. Stop it. Let me kill him. Definitely happy to shift there. Level up through a lick and I mean I really should leave the well, I started there for a rotation instead. Soul rolls all draw cards also worth noting. Start using a couple of those. Fine. Rotate past a couple more. Hand of Greed was literally the bottom card of the deck, but we persevered and got there. Serpent Idol, way too valuable to turn down. I'm also going to take a Strength Potion over the potentially potent potion. Just seems potentially more prudent to take that potion. Mm -hmm. Does the deck get better the more cards I remove at this point, or the more relics I take? It's more relics I take, isn't it? Sure. Let's not saddle ourselves with the downside at the very start of each fight. Upgrade a card. Sure. Uh, soul draw seems the obvious one. And the snake sap. It's pre-upgraded as well. If this whole deck is to work like it previously has been, that, that'll be part of it. Oh my god. Double snake sap. Single restock in the opening hand here. All right, here's like the ultimate test. Can we kill you on turn one? That hyper beams a lot of damage, but I don't think that's what we want. Yeah, we definitely don't want to skip. Well, we actually don't skip our next turn yet. Because we can remove the debuff from it. So yeah, I'm gonna hit you with that. Start with a soul roll. Company in the piece out on the board for fun. Maybe even a defensive player in the middle there somewhere. Oh, lower cost on the most important cards. Does that count? Temporal shield. That doesn't really count as a card in stasis. 
Okay, so not our most damaging opening turn there whatsoever. We're not even that well set up either. So kind of a failure on all fronts. Change all those potions. Oh, I should have used every potion except for the... Oh, God. Yeah, I should have used every potion except for the Entropic and then used the Entropic and then re-rolled all my potions. That would have been the correct way to handle that. In fact, uh, I feel a bit embarrassed. Uh, it's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it correctly later. There will be time. Hopefully. Just keep getting out those zero costs if we can. Yikes. Also no zero costs on that one. Dang. Uh, quick move. Still not zeros. Sure, I guess I'll use a fusion there. I'm just going to Predator and set up for a better next turn. Hold the rest of this, I think. Yeah, Flash of Steel is two draws right now. It's extremely valuable to have in this deck. That's the reason I was so keen to dupe it. Okay, play as many zeros as we can. Aquamarine gets us a couple more draws as well. Uh, Predator. I mean, the Bash is free. We should probably at this point only really be casting things that are free. easy part, uh, cards to rotate past there. Uh, seek? Yep. Seeking a flash deal is effectively just asking for the ability to re-roll my hand. Or, uh, uh re... Not re-roll my hand. Um, refill, rather. And Hyper Beam for the kill. Soul Exchange. Draw two cards, then exhaust one card. Exhaust your hand, replacing with cards that are exhausted cards, cards. Sure. I don't use it often at all. Let's, I don't know, let's get nutty, maybe. Oh my god, look at this opening turn. I really want to just use the evil within. I'm gonna gemstone gun, cheat. I'm just getting cards out of hand here. Um, I'm also probably gonna use shift to get past all of these corrupt orbs. feel like they're not really going to be that relevant to us. Yeah, it feels like we are going to be a lot faster than maybe the fight intends for me to possibly be. Get an additional card reward after this fight? Hell yeah. Get two times the card rewards I usually would get. You usually get none, so... Oh, wait a sec. Unfortunately, I'm not yet finding my draw value in here. There's a lot of draw value in here, though, so we'll we'll find it eventually. Yeah, the uh, rotation is not in that direction. Sure. Another rotation. Mm. Wow, none of those are actually really important. Go for a single strike into soul draw. Snake, sap it up, and then happily mix. Dang. Still miss out on any... Uh, entropic play up there. Let's write a defensive player while I can, and then rotation. It's a quick move. Getting the best of both of these worlds. Fasting gets denied its cost. Alright. Soul exchange. I uh, guess I'm going to make everything into a card of this class. Perfect. So you end up taking a little bit of damage on that turn. However, yeah, the exotic form and restock were at the very, very bottom of the deck there. That's, that's just rude. That, they knew what they were doing. That's just evil. It 
If it was any point higher up, we already would have killed. Get him. Let's try and get a soul exchange to kill him. Sure, panic button. Bunch of zero costs. Sorry, not a bunch of zero costs. A bunch of... Colorless. It's just about one hour to get the base run down. We're not really taking much money into the second area here, unfortunately. So. It's going to be a pretty underwhelming shop. Welcome back, merchant. Master reality whenever a card is created in combat, upgrade it. Yep. We're going to be doing that a lot. Let's nope this defend and immediately upgrade a card. Oh, nice. Uh... I wish I'd put some draw into that opening hand. So oh my god, literally the next card. Okay, yeah, well, we're fine from this point on. Um, remove all block on the enemy. I mean, look, that just makes sense. It's 41 damage. Uh, enemy's already pretty much vulnerable for the rest of the fight, I feel. Ooh, toasty. My soul burn equal to the damage dealt. Certainly seen worse plans. Ooh. Okay, let's mix it up. Again, no entropic for me. Uh, I'm glad at least I spotted the play, but it was a little late. Now I really, really want to take advantage of it somehow. It's just not giving me the opportunity. Okay. Ooh. Uh, purity out the obvious garbage here. Hmm. Oh, snakes out for the continued draw. Another iron fang. If only we had the unceasing top and could continue going at that point. Uh, at least we got the damage from smite every single turn now. Just just treasure over there. Get the increased vulnerability. Active ghost flame is obviously not active. I mean, that soul exchange... When does it impress us? When our base deck is garbage? Like, only because we're getting upgraded cards from it is even worth anything here. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna get toasty. I... I don't see soul exchange. I don't know what it is about... I, I just don't see it. Uh, how many unknown cards are in the base deck? So, sort by that. We have a total of 17 unknown cards in the base deck. So that would be 17 damage to all enemies. One energy itself. It's not awful. It's also not great. I'm going to take the Rain of Dice instead. Danger Noodle. This would be the deck for you, Danger Noodle. I'm clicking real hard and it's still not happening, Danger Noodle. I'll take the Soul Roll and move onwards. Okay, now I got one mix it up and I need. Oh, it's at the very start of the deck. Thank you. Uh, just gonna take one that draws a card. Well, you win some, you dim some. Soul exchange. I really want a soul exchange here. God. I really like that hand. Angel Noodle, repeat for each off class card in hand. We don't have that. Yeah, all of that near the end just sucked. That was real bad. Thankfully, we got another uh, enough other cards in the deck that we're still going to be fine, but. Ugh. I'll take my six block at the end of that turn. Uh, 
Definitely use incineration there. I'm going to get rid of that finishing tackle. I'm happy to take a fair wallop of damage here early. I'm setting up good stats, if nothing else. <laughs> well, this is pretty bad anyway. Shift past. Oh, the hand of green! Come on, I would have kept that one. Damn. Oh, finally got a restock here. We'll post that out. There's the exotic form finally. All right, all right. Now we're off on a good pace. Uh, snake staff for the extra energy. Use a fasting. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be losing an energy to do that per turn, but it really shouldn't matter. There's a rain of dice and... Oh, the rest of the deck is garbage. I want to try and get through that. So it's pretty good there. It's Havoc to try and play the top card of the deck. It got aged. Just removed it. Ooh, another fasting. Nice. Yeah, I'm aware that I'm drawing, uh, generating two energy per turn here. Ooh, got some oh, I got the incineration out of there as well. That's not what I wanted. Last me? Ooh, interesting. Let's never cast that. Okay. And we're on Roth as well. So let's kill or die. That's, uh, that's our game plan here. We either win or we lose. Okay. Well. At least we haven't lost yet. Stop allowing me to soul roll. There we go. Intangible this turn as well, so it could have been a lot worse, but it isn't. Thankfully. I'm going to rotate past all of these cards, though, because none of those look like they did enough damage for me. Ooh. I'd love to be able to... Soul Ex... What do you do, Soul Exchange? I don't understand you. You just... I guess you re-roll a lot of stuff in the deck, but... If I put any glue into the deck, you re-roll that. And I don't want that re-rolled. Get that life beam out of there, I guess. All right. Maybe I need the ability to upgrade cards in the middle of combat if I really want to take any value out of it. <laughs> it's not time for blasphemy yet, but God will it be. None of those benefit me right now. Gotta be ready, though. We've still got... Oof, yikes. We've still got the defect left to go. Straight into... A Blade Dance happily, getting us the ability to draw even more cards that way. Yeah, our, our stats are just insane at this point. Uh, how's the rest of the deck? Actually, it looks pretty reasonable. We'll have the ability to draw through a lot of that easily. So, sure. Don't need to continue trying to go. There's nothing really to set up. And there's all the corrupt cores. Uh, here's what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to tail whip you. Getting the vulnerability off. And I'm a danger noodle. Getting rid of everything else. Using the corrupt cores to kill the enemy there, but not necessarily in the intended way. Fine, yeah. I wonder if maybe I want to include occasional Watcher cards into the deck, literally just to give me access to Wrath. Because I can just decide whether or not I use the Wrath based on whether or not I feel like I'm already way too powerful for the enemies to touch. But then, like, what am I playing around? A win more kind of strategy at that point? It's, it's interesting, because over the course of playing the Sneko, my history with it has been, uh, you know, try and make it consistent and succeed with that. Try and make it consistent and then lose with that. Understand that I need to play into the randomness and start winning with that. And now I need to make 
the way that I approach adding randomness to the deck more consistent so I can consistently win with that. So to be consistently inconsistent. I think a lot of the value of this run that I just had is, uh, is value in the glue cards in the deck, right? The soul roll was ridiculous. Restock was absolutely incredible for us. Cheat has some value after we had a decent amount of saps and a decent amount uh, snake saps, that is, as well as the soul rolls into the deck. Uh, not just the soul roll, sorry, the, the soul draw, I can't remember. The soul roll is one of them, but the soul draw was also another one, I think, actually may have even literally been called soul roll draw, I mean. I'm just going to be calling him by the wrong name for a little bit of time here, but for the moment, as I try and work that out, my name is been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slay the Spy Downfall. There's all the playlists and all the links you're looking for in the description down below. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.